Hi friends, it's Monica and in today's video I want to share my top epic fantasy series that I want to read and hopefully I do end up tackling all of these series ASAP. All the series I'm going to be mentioning in this video are ones that I have not read previously and they are in no particular order. So let's just get to the first one which is the Will of Time series by Robert Jordan. I have watched the adaptation on Amazon Prime quite recently and I really did enjoy the world and how it was showing on screen but I'm very curious to see how the books do engage in the lore and the magical system more than in the TV show because I know books are more detailed in that. And I know that there were quite a few changes that the TV show had from the books so I'm very excited to see what the Wheel of Time series has for me. And I do know the gist of the series from the show so do correct me if I am wrong. We meet Moraine who is an Aes Sedai and these are women that can control and use the one power. And Moraine, she is on the search for the Dragon Reborn who is going to be destined to save their world from darkness. Once Moraine reaches a village in the Two Rivers, she meets five potential candidates who can be the Dragon Reborn and after there is an attack on the village, these five teenagers are then convinced by Moraine to travel and to see which one of them is the chosen one. All in all, I'm very excited to tackle book one, The Eye of the World, and to see how the characters are on the page and to learn more about the lore of the world. Next up is a series I have seen floating around and this is The Legends of the First Empire by Michael J. Sullivan. He also wrote the Raira Revelation series, which I absolutely love. And this new series is taking place in the far distant past of the Raira world. So I'm quite intrigued to see what that is about. In book one, Age of Myth, we are following humans who have always worshipped gods known as Frey. These gods are invincible in power and magic and probably immortal. Until a man or wraith manages to kill a god, and this then launches a power struggle between the humans and the supposed gods. There's also a young seer and another young girl who will lead her people to safety. I'm very very intrigued by the sound of this book, but I am planning a huge reread of the Raira Revelations and the Raira Chronicles before tackling this series because I don't want to be starting a new series without completing the old ones. <laughs> Another series on my list I've had recommended to me and this is the Drowning Empire series by Andrea Stewart. I haven't heard too much about this series but book one is the Bone Shard Daughter. This world has something known as Bone Shard Magic and you are able to power animal-like constructs. So these animals are solely under the control of the Emperor. But this emperor's reign is failing and revolution is taking over. We're following Lin who is the emperor's sheltered daughter and he refuses to name Lin as his heir. In order to prove her worth, Lin begins to learn the forbidden art of bone shard magic. The magic in this world seems very unique and I'm always up for reading about a revolution in a fantasy setting so hopefully this one does hold up and is a refreshing fantasy for me. Then I have a classic fantasy series I have not yet read and I'm really hoping to get to really really soon and this is the Lord of the Rings series by J.R.R. Tolkien. This is another book series that I have watched the adaptation before reading the books. I know I'm one of those people. <laughs> I really did enjoy the movies, the original trilogy, and I think Peter Jackson did a, an amazing job on them. But I'm very excited to tackle the books, including The Hobbit, and really having like a more solid foundation of the lore of the Lord of the Rings world. And with all our favorite characters such as Frodo, Aragorn, Sam, Legolas, Gimli, Arwen, and there's so many characters but I really do love all of them. I think mainly I am very excited to see about the writing style and to see how I take on the lore of this world in a novel format after so many rewatches of the original trilogy. 
anyways, hopefully I do manage to read this one within this year or the next. Next up is a series that its cover and its title caught my attention, and this is God Killer by Hannah Kanner. This one features a god killer, Kisun, and she's very good at her job and she very much enjoys her job at killing gods until she runs into one little problem and that she can't kill the god of white lies. And this god has a connection to a noble girl on the run. There was also a knight Elagast who fought in the god war and he helped the city purge of its shrines before going into retirement. But a missive from the king has him going back to the city that he helped to destroy. Other than that, from the small description I've read on Goodreads, I don't know too much about this book. And I do think that there are queer characters. And honestly, I'm just hoping for an original plot and writing that sucks me in. Last but not least is The Blood Sworn Saga by John Quinn and I was really drawn to the series because it is based on Nordic mythology and to the best of my knowledge, I haven't really read any fantasy, epic fantasy novels that are based on Norse gods and I'm very curious to see how this author put his own twist on the Norse mythologies. The first book is The Shadow of the Gods. In this world, warring gods eventually drove themselves to extinction and subsequently shattered the land Vigoro. The new world has warring girls and monsters roaming the land and we have three characters who have fate following them. A noble woman seeking battle fame, a huntress on a dangerous quest, and a thrall who is seeking vengeance. So this series sounds very very engrossing and very intense and I do hope that we have some appearances of the gods. Overall, I'm very excited to see how the Norse mythology does tie in into this fantasy world. Those were all the epic fantasy series that I hope to read and the plan for this list is to hopefully start at least half of these series in, in 2023 and then finish off those series and the rest of this list in 2024. I don't know if that will happen, but hopefully it does. I do want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and comment down below what epic fantasy series I should read next. With all that being said, I do hope you can also give me a huge thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below, and don't forget to ring the notification bell to not miss any future uploads, and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye!